Okay, <clears throat> let's take a quick look at the new functionality which allows us to select objects by identifier. Now, one of the easiest ways to use this is, of course, if you've got a specific object in mind, you can select that in the model and select get. That will get you the object and all of its relative goods. Alternately, if you want to work with reference objects, for example, in this case, we're going to work with the MEP model, we can hit get. This will get us the multiple reference objects for this portion of the ducting. Now, suppose that we want to install a stud wall here, uh, but we're not quite sure of the clearance. Um, we could, of course, send these IDs as part of an RFID or something else. However, what we want to do is we actually want to mark this up in a drawing. So we will open the document manager. And let's get our latest drawing. OK, so again, we've been able to leave this dialog open. And now we can actually say, all right, let's not only select these, but let's zoom to them. Let's ignore that assertion. And there we go. It has now zoomed us in to these objects so that we could, for example, here, uh, cloud this up. We can then add some text. This time an annotation. Just text with a leader line saying <laughs> check clearance with stud wall. And we're done. And suppose, of course, that while we're here in the model, we happen to notice something else. Let's just suppose that we want to verify the location of this object in the model. We can say get. Uh, we can now close the drawing. And back in the model, let's remove our clip plane. And let's go to that object. There it is. Looking top down, again, we can zoom to that very easily. So it makes it quite easy to work with not only native objects, but reference objects, both in the model and in the drawing, when you really want to isolate specific objects by GUID or by runtime ID.